Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to power square root of x, this is equal to 10. What is the value of x? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now we have x raised to power square root of x, this is equal to 10. The first step to do here, let's x be equal to this is the same thing as square root of x squared so you find that x is the same thing as square root of x squared so let's substitute why we have x with square root of x squared so that we have square root of x squared multiplied by square root of x this is equal to 10. The next step is that square root of x raised to power 2 times x a. This is in the form of a to power n raised to power m, which we can express as a to power n times m. Applying this exponent property from here, then this implies that we have square root of x raised to power 2 square root of x. This is equal to 10. Now, the next step from here, we can let square root of x be equal to y. Substituting y from here, here we have y raised to power 2 y. This is equal to 10. Now, to solve for y here, Let's introduce natural logarithm on both sides so that we have natural log of y raised to power 2y. This is equal to the natural log of 10, ln of 10. Now, you find that ln of y raised to power 2y, this is in the form of ln of a to power b, which we can express as b ln of a. So applying this power rule property of logarithm, then this implies that here we have 2y ln of y, this is equal to ln of 10. The next step from here, the next step from here, we can divide both signs by 2. Let's divide both signs by 2 from here. So that now we have that y ln of y. This is equal to ln of 10 over 2. Now here we have y ln of y. This is equal to ln of 10 over 2. This is the same thing as ln of y times y. This is equal to ln of 10 over 2. The next step is to introduce the exponent property that states that e to the power of ln of a, this is the same thing as a. So applying this exponent property, then here we have e to the power of ln of y, this is the same thing as y. Let's substitute this a, so that now here we have ln of y times e to the power of ln of y, this is equal to ln of 10 over 2. Now, now, the next step is to apply the Lampert's W function, which states that if we have the W function of A times the exponent E to the power of A, this is the same thing as A. Applying this property here, we have the W function of ln of y times exponent E to the power of ln of y, this is equal to, remember we apply this Lambert W function on both sides, so this is equal to the W function of ln of 10 over 2, close the bracket. The next step is that you find that ln of y, this is the same thing as a, and ln of y from here, this is the same thing as a. So this implies that here we have ln of y, this is equal to 
the w function of ln of 10 over 2. The next step from here, let's apply the exponent, exponent property so that we have e to the power of ln of y. This is equal to the exponent e to the power of the w function of ln of 10 over 2. And from here, we have that exponent e to the power of ln of y. This is the same thing as y. So let's substitute this with y. So we have that y is equal to exponent e to the power of the w function of ln of 10 over 2. And therefore, you find that from here, if you recall, we assume that let y be equal to square root of x. Okay? Let's substitute square root of x here. We have square root of x. This is equal to exponent e to the power of the w function of ln of 10 over 2. So, to solve for x from here, we are going to square both sides. Let's square both sides from here. So that now, we have that square root of x raised to power 2. This implies that we eliminate the square root sign. So that x is equal to exponent e to the power of the w function of ln of 10 over 2. Everything here raised to power 2. And this implies that x is equal to, this is 3.453. This is the value of x. This is the value of x from this algebra problem. So this is the value of x for this algebra problem. The next step is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x raised to power square root of x this is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, we have that the value of x here is 3.453 raised to power square root of 3.453. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, we have that square root of 3.453. This is the same thing as we have 3.453. 3 raised to power. Now the power here is actually equal to 1.8582. And this is supposed to give us a value of 10. So therefore, 3.453 raised to power 1.8582. This is going to give us a value of 10, which is equal to 10. And therefore, the rift add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x which is 3.453 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps if you have alternative formulas kindly don't hesitate